Hey, it's Casey Orr and Sean Whitfield with iTruckTV.com. It's time for your NASCAR update, and we're going to get you up to speed. This past weekend, we had the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series at Darlington Raceway for the Bojangles Southern 500. This is a race that carries a lot of history. Been running there for well over 50 years, and this is a big deal to a lot of these NASCAR drivers is to get their first win at Darlington Raceway. Of course, Matt Kenseth won the Southern 500 there at uh, Darlington Raceway, his 27th victory in 483 NASCAR Sprint Cup races. This is his third victory and seventh top 10 finish in 2013. Second spot, we had Denny Hamlin, third Jeff Gordon, fourth Jimmy Johnson, and fifth Kevin Harvick. Yeah, some other notables, Sean Clint Boyer finished in 11th, Martin Truex Jr. 12th, Tony Stewart, Another poor finish this season in 15th, but I think the story of the night was Kyle Busch. Sean, he finished sixth, but he dominated the race, leading 265 laps. But at the end of the day, when it mattered in the final restart, Matt Kenseth and that 20 team, who's working with a backup crew chief, you know, Ratcliffe gets suspended, so Wally hops in there. He, he's crew chief for this race, this race only. They got a great final restart. He got out front, and Matt Kenseth, his third victory of the year, strong showing for that 20 team. It sure was. And as Casey, as you mentioned, uh, Kyle Busch, his strong performance, it was a huge night for all three teams with Joe Gibbs racing because you had Denny Hamlin that got a second-place finish. He's been out for several races due to a back injury. Matt Kenseth wins the race. Kyle Busch almost won the race, so huge night for JGR. Yeah, rookie Danica Patrick finished in 28th. It's okay. It's her first trip there. Brad Keselowski, I, I mean, after starting the year off so strong, another bad patch. It's a couple weeks in a row now. He finished in 32nd spots. There you have it, the results of the Southern 500. As we uh, head to Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600 coming up in two weeks, we've got the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series uh, driver's point standings for you. Jimmy Johnson is our leader. He's 44 points ahead of second place Carl Edwards, third Matt Kenseth, fourth Dell Earnhardt Jr., fifth Clint Boyer, sixth Casey Kane, seventh Brad Keselowski, eighth Kyle Busch, ninth Eric Amarello, tenth Kevin Harvick. In the 11th spot, Paul Menard, 12th Jeff Gordon. Paul Menard actually the same amount of points as Kevin Harvick. Kevin gets the victory, therefore he's tenth. Paul's 11th. If the chase were to start today, it would be Paul Menard and Jeff Gordon now, your two wild card winners. But you, one look at the standings, it is Jimmy Johnson and everybody else. A 44-point lead. Sean, he could take the next race off. Well, it's all-star race, so not that one. He could take the next points race off the Coca-Cola 600 and still be in the points league. Well, Casey, speaking of points races, we do not have a points race coming up this weekend. Instead, we're going to be racing for money. We're going to be racing for a million dollars with the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series All-Star Race under the lights coming up Saturday night at Charlotte Motor Speedway. That's right. We're going to break down everything from the Sprint Showdown and the All-Star Race right here on the NASCAR Update at iTruck TV, where Sean and I keep you up to speed.